So that Thundaga, that'd be good to have. That'll take forever to get to. Eroga, that'd be good to have. All of these abilities. So good to have. It's gonna take so much CP to get to them now. It takes 8,000 per node at this point. Actually, slightly less than 8,000. You can continue ravaging to Waterga. We could have to. So many good to have things! That's only three battles? Yes! Your point? I can do math. What's the next ability she's gonna get ages away? Jeopardize. It's ages away. Let's look at her other stuff here. Sabachor. Let's level up some of her other stuff since that's super easy to do. As demonstrated hereby. Here fourth. Is this the next? Okay. As I say, is that like level four territory there? But it's not. What's over here? Fogga. Oh, I like how they just put a GA at the end. Fogga. Fogga. Gangsta. Way to spell fog, I guess. I don't know. Pain and Painga. They're getting lazy with the tree here. Everything's days and days ga. They're getting a bit lazy with them. Jinx. Deprotect the shell. Those are all pretty good abilities to have, but it'll take ages to get to. And everyone else can wait for the time being. Some more dudes over there. Is there another item over here? Friends? Are you hiding an item in your weird ritualistic ways? Something weird going on here, too. These creatures, they make no sense. Also, they hide treasure from me. Look at this crap, man. Look at it. Don't hide treasure from me like that. Luckily I can sneak up on these guys super easy. Except, for whatever reason, it says they've detected me. Despite the fact the only one that could see me was through a cliff. But whatever. I'm just gonna sit there and mock me. Apparently they can see through walls. But apparently they can't see that way, so whatever. I'll just kill them this way then. Whatever you want, game. Ice and water. And the reason he's not casting ice and water is because he doesn't know ice and water. In fact, I can show that to you. He doesn't know ice and water. That's why he's casting something other than ice and water, by the way. For the person who decided to mention that. Hardly worth the effort. This is hardly how they normally do leveling up. They don't just put things right next to each other like that. So the first game I've actually noticed where they did that. Unless you count Final Fantasy XII, but that had a different thing. A different system entirely. So I'm gonna assume that's all the items here. But there was one up on that cliff over there I saw. Yes. I don't know, keep up. I just ran, it's not like I'm doing anything special here. This is the Comlands, or whatever it is. I don't know, Saz, why are you, what is wrong with you people? Why has everyone got to say stuff randomly that doesn't make any sense? There's the item over there. Probably surrounded by weird ritualistic people. Final Fantasy XII did not, in fact, have separate battle scenes. This is true. How did he not spot me? It's also, to be honest, the Final Fantasy battle system that I thought was the most interesting. It's not to say I liked it the most, but I thought it was the most interesting. Which people will forever hate me for, for whatever reason. Don't know why. Trying to fire again in the air. Apparently if you cast level 3 spells, the game decides to get a dramatic angle of it or something. And I just hit the table, sorry. That does a lot of fall damage. Final Fantasy X had the best, in my opinion, battle system. 
people didn't like it for whatever reason, but in my opinion, it had the most balanced and the, the best for strategy or tactics. Was just that was the battle system I liked most. Nine had a pretty good one. Uh, six was your standard battle system. Miller, right? I need to look at upgrades again to see if I can upgrade anything. Six is pretty much the definition of standard Final Fantasy battle system. It's also kind of the definition of standard Final Fantasy. But it's a good one. It is a good one. There's one of those. I don't... There's a lot of growling going on, but I don't see an item down there. There's a behemoth. Which I'd like to just go around. Hello. Goodbye. The battle system for 14 is an MMO, so it has an MMO. No! What? <laughs> what? Why? Why did you jump down? I didn't want you to jump down. Buffoon, is there an item over here? Hello? I wanted to... Don't mind me. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spook you from your spot there, friend. It's very peaceful, this one. Hello? My name is Saz. I would like to murder you. For... Prizes! Or something. Some sort of prizes, I'm not entirely sure what, but prizes, nonetheless. And the reason I did Quake there is so I could keep the stagger gauge up on all the individual guys easier. For those of you who haven't figured that out yet. Because Quake has like a plus 50% stagger length or something ridiculous. Well that was an easy fight. Thank you, Ambush. We're all poisoned, but that's kind of null and void. 1800 CP. For the cost of a single TP. Or toilet paper. This view. There's not an item down here. But there is one of these that I can't use because you have to do the missions in the order and I'm a doofus and have lost. I have misplaced my missions. And I can't jump back up because I'm not a chocobo. Pardon me. I don't know where that one came from, but he can continue walking the other way. Um... Off we go. Just by chance, was the guy you were watching play Final Fantasy XIV live the guy who bashed Towelie for actually, you know, following the in monstrous fangs? To be honest, if you break an NDA, I would be perfectly, you know, happy with pointing and laughing at your misfortune about your account being terminated because Twitch does not give warnings. If you break an NDA and Twitch finds out, they just ban you. Oh, we just forgot about the NDA? That's, you know, it's open beta, that's, that's all good. There was a dude who was live streaming Final Fantasy XIV, fully knowing there was an NDA, and he actually bashed Towelie because Towelie was adhering to the NDA, which is hilariously stupid. It's all fine and dandy if you just forgot about it, but if you're going to bash Towelie for following the NDA, man, that's that's stupid right there. What was I doing? Right. Can I upgrade you? No. Can I upgrade you? No. What about something like the nimble toe boots? Nope. Trinity crown? Nope. What kind of stuff do we have? Do we have any... Mechanical? We don't have any mechanical stuff at all. What is NDA? Non-disclosure agreement. Final Fantasy XIV has a NDA over audio and video until the release. So, until the game is released, you cannot stream audio or video. You can show screenshots, but you can't have audio or video. And it's not usually... Squ well, let's, let's put it this way. 
Square is not the only person who will mark videos that have their soundtrack in them. In fact, they're not the only people who will mark videos at all about their content, games included. They will not, however, you regarding an item. They will generally not give you a copyright strike unless you post stuff before release or stuff that's covered by an NDA. Was that supposed to be a roar? Because it didn't make a sound at all. Oop. Sorry. I didn't mean to anger your yawning or whatever. Hello. Pardon me. Coming through. I'm just adventuring. This is a freaking massive place. Apparently I'm going this way. Somewhere. I'm going over yonder. I haven't saved in ages. I hope the game doesn't crash. Let's go this way. I don't know why, but we can, so. Is it... Holy crap! A, it's foggy for some reason, but B... There's two of those. Two! They, mur they nearly murdered me last time. I don't think I should be this far over here yet. I really do think I should probably go back and try to figure out these missions to progress the missions like I originally wanted to. Nope, sorry, don't mean to. Go away. It's very foggy for some reason. Insta heals after every single battle is one of my one of the negatives in my mind. It's very foggy over here. Can't see anything. I also can't see the enemies that are right there. Freaking draw distance is tiny now. Whoa, camera. Sort yourself out. Yeah, I don't think I should be over here yet, considering one of those nearly killed me, and there's now four of them sitting here. Nope. 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 No, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's not even the way I had to go, that's just an item. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All of my nope, and we're gonna head back this way. Maybe, maybe I will inadvertently wander myself into continuation of the storyline, who knows. I don't know why it's so foggy over here, it's a bit bizarre. Does it suddenly became foggy, it'll probably suddenly become not foggy. Unless that's just the game's weather system. Hello, sir. Suddenly hope. How's it going, hope? Just out of curiosity. He has very weird eyes. Out of curiosity, how hard is this one? Is it the same insta-gib difficulty? You can't ambush them, so I'm not even sure why I'm bothering. I have, like, chameleon eyes. You can only hit the top of them, and it doesn't do as much damage. But it still killed Hope. I'm just gonna let it kill me. So that one's probably not nearly as hard. It only does a thousand a hit, but it does it fairly frequently, so I don't think I can actually tank that quite yet. Thank god this game has that retry system where you don't actually have to save the game, because whatever. So we'll have to mark that one for, you know, note. I'll have to come back and do that one some point. I was just over here, why did I not run this way? Very confused. Hello, flowy tail, sir. Don't mind me. If you want, you can go fight the giant turtle. It's just around the corner. Corner? The corner. He has candy and stuff. Is there a reason I didn't go this way? Well, that's interesting. They're doing a pretty bad job of fighting each other, but that's interesting. Apparently, I think they all just said the same thing together. If I can get them over here, it's 
possible I could ambush them. That one's just going at it. The behemoth's just like, what? What you want, yo? This thing's just aggressive. Look at it go. Do it one more time. Done. <laughs> that timing, man. And that means they'll continue fighting each other for a while. And I'd rather kill the Behemoth King, I think. So, I think we just healed it on accident. Well done. I should probably... I should probably quake this as well. Get your blood racing? Yeah, this fight would do that, to be honest. If this was fighting in front of you... That'd be a bit concerning. So the Behemoth King's dead, now we just got the Megastetherian. Which we've already fought some of these before. Which we could deprotect. Might not be a bad idea to actually deprotect this thing. Considering it's so very angry about everything. Apparently one of the missions makes me fight a giant turtle. Adam and Toys, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Uh, May is complaining about my inefficiencies again. Welcome to me! I'm inefficient. Does he know Asuna? He does. I was unsure if he had learned Asuna or not yet. Protect his physical shell is magic, yes. And Wulululululula is non either of those. Non either of those. Double negative go. You're welcome. Let's see if we're gonna quickly. I don't think she has. She has curse. I don't know if it's susceptible to curse. It is susceptible to murdering us. It is susceptible to curse. Interesting. I don't know what good that does us. I guess it d means it can't poison us now. At least for the time being. That's right, you will little little people. Well, I think that's all she can do to it. Is curse it. And I'm... Is curse no attack? Is that what it is? No, it can still attack. It's just slow. I forgot about that. Take sweet time. Everyone's in fired, so this thing is gonna die before it staggers, I think. If not, it'll be close. Oh, yeah, there it goes. I just, did Fang just do 30,000 damage to a non staggered target? There's only three of you talking? Well, there's not that many people here. And it is fairly late, so, you know, maybe people are napping. I don't know. Using me to go to sleep. It's a bit awkward. There's another mission there. Hall was here. Hall's still here. Hall may be in bed. I don't know. Said something about bed. Cutscene! There's a way really? Here. You found the giant freaking cave. It's not even a cave. It's a giant freaking valley. Well done, Snow. Oh no, there's a cave over here. Okay. Snow the Eagle Eye. Let's see, it's three in the night. That is an interesting phrase, good sir. What pray tell time is three in the night? Because usually three is like right after noon or in the morning. I know what you mean, I'm just bothering people. Because it's a very silly way of saying that. We're now in a cave! Thank you, Snow! We've discovered a cave! I don't like the air here. Apparently Hope does not like breathing. This is not really news for me. I don't really like breathing either, so... He may have 24 hour time, then he wouldn't be saying... freaking... What did he say? Three in the night? He'd, he'd just say 0300. It'd still be three. It would be three in the night. Because, you know, then it would be... If it was talking about night time, then you'd be, you know, like 20, 2400, 2200. Apparently she likes breathing in here, just not hope. 
Hello. We have some robots doing a robot. And they're very angry robots. Hello! I am friend! You are very slow. You're also doing a very weird robotic dance. I guess we're gonna have to fight them the old-fashioned way since the game doesn't want to let me ambush them. We'll do it your way, game. Hoplite! Okay, so the hoplites kind of hurt, and something just exploded into thunder. I'm assuming they're weak to thunder. We don't know yet. I should scan them to find out, but I'm lazy. Still don't know, despite the fact that we've cast that spell several times now. And then they cast fire. They're casting everything. They're resistant to ice. Fire's normal. I could cast a Libra, I know. Too lazy. Freaking hoplites, man. Hoplites are OP in every game. Apparently, except this one, where they're relatively easy. Good to know. 2300 experience and an analog circuit. That is certainly worth the effort, Fang. You need to get your panties all sorted out. Hauteclair, which I'm not going to use. That's a weapon for lightning, I'm pretty sure. More hoplites. Why do they do that weird movement? And they're probably set up so you can't ambush them. Yeah, the other one turns around before this one does, so we'll just do it this way. Fang doesn't wear panties. Pretty sure she does. Camera's not gonna let us know, but there you go. Time to make crappy jokes about panties now. Go! How do I know? Because she's female and I see no shorts. And the video game is not rated adult only. Thus, the only other possible option panties. That's how that works. Do you not know how this, uh, this, this way of thinking goes? More hoplites. This entire place is just freaking hoplites. No. Now they're all looking at me. I imagine these things have some pretty good vision range here. Or maybe not. I thought they would, but apparently not. I'm not recording right now? Yeah, I am. You silly, silly people. For about an hour and 24 minutes, specifically. Thundaga looks freaking sweet. I just want to point that out. I think Thundaga is the best third level spell so far. I think it'll probably be the best third level spell, period. I mean, it's just, it hits like the whole map. It's ridiculous. Plus, it looks cool. Hardly worth the effort. Is that the only thing she says anymore? 3k experience. That's, these hoplites are really good experience for not a whole lot of fight, really. Which way do I want to go? Well, the objective is down there, so let's head this way. I've gone back into corridor thinking mode where the objective is the only path and everything else is a. Uh, these are new. And I never know which way they're looking. And I hit the desk again. God, amateur. Search crap out. A chirohedron. They heal 7k a hit. That's still not enough to outheal us, I don't think. Although it slows us down greatly. And then it dies, because we staggered it. And then we beat the next one down. Does this thing have little arms? It has little arms, look at it. It's going way over there, but it has little arms. For whatever reasons. I know what that means. Yadanguses. 
I'm fully aware of what the word means, and that's why they're using ice. And I was just getting started. 2.4k for that. These fights are good experience. They're a lot easier than the fights outside of here for some reason. Although this is quite the bundle. Quite the bundle indeed. I'm just gonna run in there, because I can't ever tell which way the stupid things are facing. Probably gonna quake this as well. I like quake. Have you noticed? Get that blood have you noticed my liking of Quake? Actually halved water damage. Weak to ground as well. Interesting. Considering they fly, I'm not entirely sure why they're weak to ground, but whatever. You missed, Fang. You missed. Terra is Earth. Arrow is Wind. Although I don't think any enemies actually put Arrow in their name. Or maybe it's Terra. I don't think any enemies have put Arrow in their name. That was an easy one. And I, was just getting I thought that would be harder than that. Maybe that, uh... 5k. Good god. <laughs> 5,000 experience from that. And it finished faster than some of the other fights in here. Uh, you're being Ravager, so just keep ravaging. Thundaga is what we want. So we can have two people who can cast Thundaga. Theoretically, if I can make it there. Just barely. We'll grab this strength as well. Because why not? What can he have? He can have Water Gun, that's right. Any other major spells? Vigor? HP is high, that'd probably be pretty good. Blizzaga, oh yeah, everything up here is good, so we're just gonna keep going this way. More Wolololololo must be obtained, though, to progress. Oh, forgot Fang. May as well do the other three party members, too. We don't let them too far behind. More HP and an ATV level. Let's see if we can hit that ACB level. I don't think we will. No. Nope. Just just short. Sad day. Let's see. She is kind of mixed. ATB level right there, though. And that's pretty much it, except for buffs. So... What else? Uh, yeah, well, whatever. We'll just keep giving her this stuff. Buffs and what have ye. Stat boosts, not buffs, really. And then Sir Snow here. We could keep boosting a Sentinel. And, you know, give him 8 billion hit points because he's freaking Snow. And that's how this works all snow does and she we could boost her ravager we really should boost her saboteur actually now that I looked at that I just realized how low her saboteur was so we'll probably max this out considering she has 40,000 and this stuff is super cheap snow is walking beef hmm not sure about the beef there but hey there's an accessory slot day 37 Snow is a cow. That's also something I'm not sure about. Have you gotten tired of this sound yet? I pray you haven't, because it will continue for some time yet. It's getting really high-pitched. It's still going up. How high does it go? It's still going. Apparently that's as high as it goes. That is the highest pitch the sound will get. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> the sound finally ceased. Alright, so she's at... Poison Ga. What? Apparel Ga? Fog and Pain. So we'll stop there for that. 
Could boost her medic some more. Does she have any new medic stuff that would be useful up here? Kiraha. Ooh, that's good. That's also a billion points away, but... Click the right direction. Thank you. Let's start heading that way. Down the olden medic path, because she's a medic and that's how that works. 